Hello, everyone. It's Lillian from Hambridge Mandarin School. Last time, we've talked about the Chinese business etiquette concerning preparation before dining, the seating arrangement, and the most importantly, what to talk about during business meal. So today, let's check the most interesting part of Chinese business etiquette, which is drinking culture. Chinese people like to take wine to entertain friends or business partners. It doesn't matter if it's a lunch or dinner, as long as a meal is served, there will be alcohol. And Chinese people frequently offer a kind of Chinese wine called bai jiu for toasts. Be aware that this kind of bai jiu is as high as sixty degree. No matter how good a drinker you think you th- you think of yourself, never ever challenge a Chinese in a drinking contest. And try to avoid uh try to avoid drinking with an empty stomach because you will f- feel the effects of alcohol very quickly and you won't be very comfortable. And also, it's a good idea to eat something before the toast begins. Normally, your host will start off the banquet with a toast to your cooperation or clinching a deal. When toasting, Chinese people normally say "gan bei," which translates to "bottoms up." And after a few drinks and toasts, it is also common to go around the table. And toast each member of the party after formal dinner. It is also common for the Chinese people to invite you to a karaoke club or bar for entertainment. Usually, the host of the banquet of the dinner is expected to pay for all the bills, including dinner and entertainment. Gift giving is a common Chinese customs that business visitors sh- to China should prepare for and take advantage of. Typically, a single large group gift is presented to the leader of the company or the people in charge of the Chinese organization. Gifts should not be too expensive and should have strong. Local associations or local identities, which matters a lot, and therefore it can convey the pride of the giver. Gifts are usually presented after an introductory meeting or at the end of a banquet. Remember that always give and receive gifts or anything of value with two hands, and gifts to avoid. Include clocks, scissors, or anything, or any sharp items like knives or letter openers, because they all have bad superstitious connotations to Chinese. Okay, this is the end of the Chinese business etiquette. If you have any good idea. Or concerning your experience with dealing,、uh, your experience of dealing business with Chinese people, please leave a comment below, and see you next time.